Hi everyone. Our second book for this week is a book just for fun. But I was thinking about how our letter of the week was the letter G. And I was also thinking about how we just talked about bicycles and we're still talking about all different types of transport. And I also remembered that we saw this character in one of our book week quizzes. So the book I've chosen just for fun this week is a book called Grug and His Bicycle. And it's by a man called Ted Pryor. He does the illustrations as well. It's not a very big book, so I hope I can get close enough for you to see the pictures. Grug had saved enough money to buy his first bicycle. And look, he's gone to Ted's bike shop. That's the author's name. He bought a bright yellow bicycle and pushed it home. Grug climbed on his bicycle, but he fell off. He climbed on again. Oh, look, he's used that stump of a tree to help him. He wobbled and wobbled. Oh, here he is wobbling, wobbling all through the trees. Grug tried to stop. Whoosh, looks like he's moving very, very quickly there. Oh my goodness, he's gone straight into a tree. <gasps> Crash! Oh my goodness me. It was Kara's log. Oh, I wonder what kind of an animal Kara might be. Kara thought that Grug was hurt, so she wrapped him up in bandages. Grug soon felt better. Oh, he's unwrapping himself. He now practiced riding his bicycle on level ground. He practiced and practiced until he could ride without falling off. He's Grug's home. He lives in a little cave or a tunnel that's been burrowed into the side of the hill. Can you see how he's made his mailbox in this picture? And that's a look at all the other Grug books that we might be able to read when we're back in the classroom together again. I hope you enjoyed that story about Grug and his bicycle. Did it make you think of how hard it was to learn to ride a bike for the very first time? It made me think about that. 